Christ's life for us. And look at what the story told us, you know, uh, that love told us. Love told us there was a certain man, he was going down to Jericho, and while he was going, he, may, he encountered some robbers and thieves, and they just wasted him, and they stole everything he had. The thief coming up, but to kill, to steal, to destroy, to steal, but to kill, to destroy. And then they left him wounded, half dead, half dead. There's so many Christians that have been wounded. Some are not going to church anymore. Some are tired. Some have seen hypocrisy of the highest order. Some are just personally upset, you know, and uh, and that's the state. So what are we going to do? We're going to pray. You can't see somebody walking in sin and just be excited about it. When any time right now, when people hear people walking in sin, people fall into sin, they make mistakes. Everybody be excited. They be waiting for it. Some people want to use other people's mistake to rise. They want other people's fall to be what make them to rise. No, it doesn't work that way. That's not the love of God. That's your brother. Come on, man. That's your sister. What are we going to do to raise up this fallen hero? We need to help. This, the Bible says, let brotherly love continue. Come on, man. That's the love of God. You know, the long suffering of God is the one is, is what God is using to, to still keep all of us alive. If God is not long suffering, we will have been dead. That man was left half dead on the way. And what's the way? Jesus is the way. How many people have you met today on the way that are half dead? They are half dead by religion. They are half dead by, by, by principles and precepts and doctrines. They just have dead. Do you do something about them? You know, well, we're going to continue from there because you're going to see some people that passed through that way and they did nothing about it. And I'll, I'll tell you something. Those are the people that God, that I was expecting would do more and much, but nothing was done. How seated, how dwell it is the love of God in you. Is it really there? Pastor, deacon, evangelist, prophet, teachers is the love of God there <laughs> okay may God help us now worship with us this Sunday this Tuesday power of God in this Thursday and of course this testimony can be duplicated in your life I tell you God is the one at work and is a miraculous God God bless you and uh, we'll see you soon thank God for his mercy his grace thank God for my father my mother and the Lord thank God for you beautiful people I want to thank God for a new job. I give God all praise and glory. Um, actually, the, and thank God for my father, my mother, and the Lord both telling me that, well, decreeing that, you know, that job was already mine. I want to thank God because the process is a bit tedious, but I thank God because I got it. So, hallelujah.